In question 5 of this exercise, the problem statement says, in a class test, the sum of Shefali's marks in math, mathematics and English is 30. Had she got 2 marks more in mathematics and 3 marks less in English, the product of their marks would have been 210. Find her marks in the two subjects. So the unknowns in this situation are Shefali's marks in math and English. So let's assume one of the two unknowns to be X. So let's say that Shefali's marks in math or Shefali's math marks. So let's assume that these marks are X. And because the sum of Shefali's marks in math and English is 30, this means that Shefali's English marks will be 30 minus X because what we want is the sum of the two marks to be 30. So if her marks in math are X, then her marks in English must be 30 minus X. Now the problem statement says, had she got two marks more in math? So if she had gotten two marks more in math, then her marks would have been, instead of X, her marks would have been X plus two. And had she got three marks less in English? So if she had gotten three marks less in English, then her marks would have been 30 minus x minus 3. So take out 3 from this expression 30 minus x. So what you will get is 27 minus x. So you, you reduce 30 minus x by 3. And the problem statement says if this had happened, the product of their marks would have been 210. So the product of these two numbers would be 210. So this means that x plus 2 times 27 minus x should be equal to 210 and this is how we can set up an equation in x in this situation and you can see that this is a quadratic equation in x we can solve it we can now find the value of x which will give us Shefali's marks in both math and in English so let's do that let's expand the product on the left hand side so we have x times 27 so that's 27 x and then we have x times minus x so that's minus x square and then we have 2 times 27 so that's 54 and then we have 2 times minus x so that's minus 2x this is equal to 210 now let, uh, let's combine the like terms so we have minus x square let's write it first and then we have 27 x minus 2x so that's 25 x and then we have 54 and this 210 here so let's bring this 210 on the left hand side so we get 54 minus 210 so that's 164 so we get minus 164 this is equal to 0 oh actually not minus 154 this will be minus 156 so let's just rewrite this as minus 156 this is equal to 0 and now let's um, let's make the coefficient of x square positive so let's multiply both sides by minus 1 so we'll get x square minus 25 x plus 156 equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation that models the given situation now let's solve this equation by splitting the middle term so we note that 156 is 14 times 13 times 12 so 156 is 13 times 12 and 13 plus 12 is also minus 25 so we can split the middle term minus 25 x as minus 13 x minus 12 x and then we have plus 156 equal to 0 now let's factorize this so from the first pair of terms you can take out x common so we get x times x minus 13 and then from the second pair of terms we can take out minus 12 common and we get x minus 13 again this is equal to 0 so this equation factorizes as x minus 12 times x minus 13 equal to 0 and this means that x is either 12 or x is 13 so we get two roots in this in this situation 
and both of the roots seem to be valid values so if we take the first root 12 this means that shefali's math marks are 12 so she got 12 marks in math and her english marks are 30 minus x or 30 minus 12 which is 18 so she got 18 marks in english and then let's verify if this aligns with what we are told so if she had gotten two more marks in math she would have gotten 14 marks in math and if she would have uh, gotten three marks less in english she would have received 15 marks in english and the product of 14 and 15 is 210 so the first root aligns correctly with what is told to us now let's take the second root which is 13 so if shefali's math marks were 13 then her english marks would have been 30 minus 13 which is 17 and now if she had gotten two more marks in math her marks would have been 15 in math and if she had gotten three marks less in english her marks in english would have been 14 and once again 15 times 14 is 210 so even the value 13 works for her marks in math so there are two possible answers in this question the first answer is that she got 12 marks in math and 18 marks in English. So this is the first answer. And the second possible answer is she got 13 marks in math and 17 marks in English. And both of these answers are correct. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.